Ah, Gex. You were the number one mascot for Crystal Dynamics. Your first game, the original Gex, may be a multi-platform game, but it's remembered as the 3DO's best game. I remember you in 1998, when I first played you on your game, Gex entered the Gecko and had one of the greatest times of my life. Then in 1999, Gex 3 made every bit as good as Enter the Gecko. After the millennium, I've been waiting for your sequel for Gex 4. To understand who's making this rant, my name is Gexa. I'm a simple, unprofessional video game reviewer who does classic video game reviews. If you want to know how passionate I am making this video, check out my YouTube page. It's a tribute to an underrated video game mascot called Gex, because he deserves to be mentioned and should not be forgotten. Also, I made two of my reviews on the Gex series to show that I'm not obsessed with this character, but but I feel he should have his own sequel because I've been waiting for the fourth installment of the Gex series for over a decade now. I know that he should have been left in the dust, but there are other old fart mascots who keep making video games today and don't really deserve to be continuing to be making video games as much as Gex should have have. There are a lot of video game mascots that were good for the time but haven't been received well just because there weren't as good ga of a gameplay as the old days. These mascots include Sonic the Hedgehog, Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, and many more that should have stopped making video games just because they were a load of garbage and nowhere near as good as they were in the 90s. There are other old series like Gex, Grim Fandango, Duke Nukem, Jammu, and many more that has fans waiting for this day for a video game sequel. For me, I want Gex 4 to be made. Despite Mario, he was one of the most iconic mascots that defined 3D platforming genre in the 90s. And none of those young bucks who know shit about, about characters like him just because he didn't have a proper sequel for their generation of video games. I know that I'm not the only one who's been waiting for a Gex 4. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this rant. I know that you Gex fans really want a Gex 4 as much as I do. As of right now in 2009, there are a lot of forgotten video games that are coming back to the video game industry making a proper sequel or a video game remake. These games such as Ball in His Blob, Bionic Commando, and so much more that are making remakes and sequels and making a lot of profit and praise. So why isn't classic games like Gex being made? Let's look at the developers who created Gex, Crystal Dynamics. Okay, Crystal Dynamics, what have you been doing recently in the past four years? Sure, Laura Croft was good for her time in the 90s, but it's not exciting as her in the old days. Most of all, using the same sex cell on us, the consumer, is already getting too old for us. Most of us, old slash former fans, are really tired out of watching Laura Croft doing her moves and flashing her what nots. But in all honesty, the series has run out of gas. Crystal Dynamics, I know that you have a lot of creativity up your sleeve, so why not make a sequel of your old series, or make a new <laughs> series of video games? Do something different besides making another Tomb Raider game, because you just keep making the series more overrated than it already is. Nobody I know of is taking this Tomb Raider series seriously, so why make another game? I don't know, I lost all hope and faith on Crystal Dynamics and Eidos Interactive. I shouldn't depend too much on them to make Gex 4 because they don't really deserve it. How about another developer to make Gex 4? I know that you guys think that it's a crazy idea, but you guys remember LucasArts' uh, masterpiece Sam and Max? LucasArts abandoned the series ass over seven years ago, and uh, later a small company called Telltale Games made Sam and Max beyond time and space, and it was every bit as good as the old Sam and Max se series. We also seen this happen once with Retro Studios making Metroid Prime, and it was a major hit. Why not have Gex 4 to be made by another video game company who knows what they're doing? Well, rather than having to complain more about why Gex 4 hasn't seen the light of day, why not let's discuss about Gex 4 and how it should be made. If I were to make Gex 4, it should be called Gex, Return of the Gecko. Think about it, it's an epic title that tells everybody that an old mascot is back kicking ass. But most importantly, Gex 4 should still be making parodies. Gex should be also be doing his wisecrack jokes, and it should be funnier than ever before. Dana Gould is still alive, so why not bring him back as Gex's voice actor? <laughs> Gex should go solo, and the story for Gex 4 should open the story seeing him all hopeless, drunk, and lost everything he owned from Gex 3. 
He returns to the media dimension and is all abandoned and useless. He's moping around on the media dimension and sooner or later a bunch of terrorists barges in and takes over the station. They witness Gex and tries to capture him, but instantly Gex went into the portal and the terrorist uh, mission in taking over the uh, media dimension isn't even possible because a living life form is in the network so they have to take Gex out. But as they enter the media dimension, all their weapons and outfits changes depending on what level they are in. Well, that's my idea for the story, but it isn't great, so I hope that you guys can make up one and write in the comics section. Forget about the story. What about the level parodies that Gex 4 should have been, uh, should have because that's what the series is known for? Well, what what hasn't Gex parodied yet? The only thing that comes in my mind is the CSI or Crime TV parody. Well, there was a cartoon lo cartoon anime horror pirates kung fu Christmas fairy tale space and many more that Gex has already parodied. Ooh, I got an idea. How about let's have a level, a level that should parody a fantasy uh, movie like Lord of the Rings. Think about it. Having Gex dressed up like a knight, hurting hobbits and fighting orcs, goblins and trolls in the woods and even more epic in the cast a battle in the castle with elves and dwarves. That would be epic. Ooh, here's another parody. How about Gex is in a soap opera? Nah, not a soap opera. That's crap. Ooh, what about Gex is in what would Gex parroting uh, Phantom of the Opera? Now that would be a good level. Just imagine Gex dressed up like Phantom of the Opera and slaying all those classy fighters and all that stuff. How about having Gex to be parroting a cyberpunk movie like uh, Blade Runner? Imagine this, uh, you know, because, you know, cyberpunk is not really a popular genre anymore, but, you know, something like that in the movie, I mean, in the game, that would be pretty epic to play that level over and over again. Or how about borrowing some of those levels from the previous Gex games and made it completely different to the next installment for Gex 4? Well, I'm all out of ideas for <laughs> what Gex 4 should have, but how about you guys make a comment in the box say, telling me what kind of parodies Gex should have. Despite the parodies, what improvement Gex 4 needs compared to the past Gex series? How about let's have more than one move than the karate kick and the tail whip as an attack? Better yet, how about being able to use uh, weapons such as M16 swords and uh, more that fits uh, a certain parody? How about Gex being able to crawl on any surface like like the Spider-Man games? How about instead of just entering level, how about a certain level has a little bit of a backstory or new characters being introduced in that level? Speaking of characters being introduced, why not have another hot babe? I could already see it now. Somebody who is hotter than Agent Extra. And that somebody should be helping Gex along the way to stop all the enemies trying to control the media dimension. I don't know, I guess I'm all out of ideas of what Gex 4 should have half. Let's hear some of your ideas of what Gex 4 should have half. Please, write down in the comment box and share me some of your ideas. And hopefully, Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Interactive, or any, uh, anybody from another video game company might be watching this video and might have thought of making Gex 4 and take some of these ideas from this video. I have a good feeling Gex 4 is going to be made because Gex 3 is, is in the PlayStation Store and they're trying to see if it's a good idea to be making Gex 4. Please, I'm begging you PlayStation 3 owners to buy Gex 3 on the PlayStation Store. That way Gex 4 would be more possible to be released. I wouldn't care if it's on the PlayStation 3, the Wii, or the Xbox 360. I want it to be released. Good game or not, I really want to see the fourth installment of the Gex series. I did a video game review on Gex Enter the Gecko and Gex 3, and I've done all if I can just to bring back the nostalgia to all those Gex fans. As of right now, I'm continuing on with my duty in making classic video game reviews. Please stay tuned for my next video game review, Dear Avenger 4, and it's going to be released this week. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Till then, see you there my friends. Peace.